Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your chat GPT and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you delete your chat GPT search history? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Why would you want to delete your chat GPT chat history anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that you may share access with your chat GPT with other assistants. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your chat GPT. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my chat GPT and this is the home screen. And here on the home screen, if you want to delete your chat history, what you're going to do is click on your profile icon here on the top right. Once you do that, you'll see this drop down menu and you want to click on settings. It looks like a gear icon. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see this menu. Make sure that you've clicked on general, this gear icon. Once you do that, you're going to see this menu right here and you just want to go ahead and scroll down until you click on delete all chats. Now, if you think that you might want to have access to these chats later, you can go ahead and archive so that we can retrieve them later. If you want to permanently delete it, go ahead and click on delete all. Just so you know, it's not going to permanently delete completely. It will for you. However, it is possible that ChatGPT keeps your chat and search history on their servers. So if you're trying to avoid law enforcement or something like that, it is possible that information could be subpoenaed. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to delete or remove your chat and search history from your chat GPT, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.